Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Ash the OT, where I give parents and caregivers strategies and tips in order to help the little ones in their lives to make progress, to learn, and to develop. So today, we are going to be discussing the topic of helping your child to reduce screen time. I understand that this year has been quite the transition for a lot of us. And a lot of children today are actually being forced to be on the screen for longer amounts of time because of remote learning that they have to do. So obviously there's no getting away from that for the time being. However, studies are showing that kids are still being on their phones and tablets and iPads for extended amount of times even after their schoolwork is done and their assignments are complete. And in case you were not aware, being on the screen for extended amount of times can actually have very negative effects for your children. It can lead to things such as obesity, eye strain, lack of sleep, poor attention, poor social skills, and the list just goes on from there. So it is so important, parents, that you are actually monitoring how long your child is using any type of screen. And just to give you a point of reference, it has been recommended that children who are two and younger should have absolutely no screen time. Now, this year has been a little bit different for a lot of us because we are not able to see all of our family and friends as we used to be able to do. So obviously, if your kid wants to call someone or if someone wants to FaceTime or Zoom or Skype, the little ones in your life, obviously that's okay but we're talking about just being on the phone or the tablet for any amount of time. So anybody that's two and younger should not have any screen time. Now, if your child is between the ages of three to five, they are recommending no more than an hour a day. For a child that is between the ages of six to 10, they are recommending anywhere between an hour and an hour and a half. And if your child is between the ages of 11 to around 18, they're recommending no more than two hours a day. So let's jump right into how you can help your child to reduce screen time. So tip number one is to set time limits. So yes, I've just given you how much time your child should be allowed to be on their screens, and that's usually outside of what's required for school. So definitely, you wanna monitor the length of time that they're using their iPhone, their iPads, their tablets, and set a timer. It can be a visual timer, or it can be an auditory timer, or a timer that gives off some sort of signal or sound, so that when that timer goes off, they know iPhone, screen time, is all done. Tip number two is to establish screen-free zones. So that means in your house, you establish certain areas or certain rooms in your house where technology is absolutely not allowed. So one good example of this is your kitchen or when it's time for family meal time. So sitting around at the table with your family is such an important time for building that family relationship. It's such an important time for teaching kids social skills and manners and things like that. But if your child is scrolling through their phone while sitting at the table, they're missing out on a lot of learning opportunities. The bedroom could also be another screen-free zone because in our bedrooms, that should be for sleeping or for playing, right? However, we don't want our child to be in the bedroom just scrolling for hours on end on their screen or watching videos nonstop. So maybe the bedroom could also be a screen-free zone. Tip number three is to set aside movement breaks or opportunities for play with your child. Now, children were never meant to sit in front of a screen for extended amount of hours, and that is the totality of their little lives. No way, kids are active, they are meant to be physical, they are meant to run around and jump and crawl and climb and do all of those things. And being on the screen is definitely limiting all of that. So definitely make sure your child is getting in some type of physical activity throughout their day because sitting still and being sedentary for such a long time is something that actually does lead to health issues. So we don't wanna have that and we absolutely want to avoid that. Tip number four is to help your child relate what they are seeing or doing on the screen to actually real life activities. So for example, if your child is on their tablet and they're doing a puzzle, 
and they're absolutely great at doing that puzzle on the screen, make sure that you're helping that child to also be able to do puzzles in real life. Or if that child is learning how to write their name using some type of app on their screen, make sure that you're helping that child pick up a marker or pick up a pen or pencil and be able to write their name in real life. As a therapist, a lot of times I am seeing that kids are phenomenal these days at being able to operate their tablets and their iPhones. They can open it up, they can power it on, they can find their favorite YouTube channel and their favorite videos. But when it comes to doing real life activities, they are falling behind and that is such an important part of their development. So make sure you're helping that child to make that connection so they are connecting what they're doing on the screen with some actual real life examples. Tip number five is to have a reward chart or reward system in your house. So this could be something like, let's say you have a chart where you keep track of how often your child was able to follow the instructions or follow the rules for screen time. And let's say they followed it nicely three times out of the week. You can set something up so if your child gets three days in a row where they listen to you and they follow instructions about limiting screen time, then at the end of the week, they get a reward. And no, that reward is not more screen time. That reward can be something else that the child really enjoys. It could be playing a favorite game with the family. It could be baking their favorite dessert. It could be doing a favorite craft. Whatever else it is that your kid likes besides being on the screen is something that you can reward them with at the end of the week if they follow the rules for limiting screen time. Tip number six is to have family unplug days. Now wait, before you start, bite my head off. I know, parents, you have to work, and a lot of our work these days is on the phone as well, and it's on the computer as well. However, there's typically, usually, one day out of the week that we can find where we can actually unplug as a family. So let's say for example, Sundays. Sundays are usually a day where most people are not working um, and most people are not in school. So maybe set aside Sunday as the family unplug day. And that means no television, no iPhones, no tablets, none of the sort. However, you are substituting that screen time with family time. So as a family, for one whole day, no one's gonna be glued to their phone, but we're gonna actually socialize and talk to each other and play and do things that families used to do before screens took over. And last but not least, tip number seven is to be or set the example. So parents, Children are not the only ones who need to limit screen time. <laughs> we, as adults, also need to be very mindful of how long we are using our phones and how long we are on the screen. So we need to set the example for the little kids who are looking up to us because if they're seeing that we are on our phones and tablets all day and it's not related to our work, then they're gonna wanna do the same thing and be on their phones and tablets all day as well. So you have to set that example. You have to show kids like, okay, I'm done with work. Now that I'm done with work, I'm gonna go and go for a walk. I'm going to go read a book. I'm going to listen to some favorite music. So you have to give them examples and be the example so that they will want to follow. So I hope those tips were really helpful for you all in finding ways to help your child to reduce and limit some of the screen time. Please leave a comment below and let me know how you have found success with limiting your child's screen time because it could be helpful for other parents as well. And don't forget to subscribe, to like, to comment, share all that great stuff so that you will definitely get notified of when I will be sharing more tips and more strategies to help the child in your life. All right. Take care. Bye.